Egyptian and Senegalese football fans are gearing up for the final of the Africa Cup of Nations, which kicks off in less than three hours in Cameroon's Olembe Stadium. The final pits seven-time winners Egypt against Senegal's Lions of Taranga. Egyptian star forward Mohamed Salah is hoping for his first AFCON win with the national team. Meanwhile, Senegal, despite being one of Africa's top teams, has never won the tournament. They made it to the, the final at the last AFCON, only to lose against against Algeria. Well, for more, we can cross to Yaoundé and speak to France 24's sports editor, Simon Harding, who is outside of the Senegal team's hotel. Uh, Simon, tell us, what is the ambiance like where you are? Well, very quiet, I have to say, Alison, outside Senegal's uh, team hotel. The team are just about uh, to leave to go to the Olembe Stadium in about half an hour or so. So uh, we could see the staff and, and the few fans who are here uh, getting ready outside the hotel, getting the water on the bus, getting the balls on the bus, everything uh, get put in place uh, so that the preparations and the trip to the stadium goes as smooth as possible. It is true, and it has to be said that ever since uh, Cameroon were not knocked out of the competition. The atmosphere and the excitement uh, for the Africa Cup of Nations has dipped just a little bit, we have to say that. But it is true that throughout the day there's been a lot of Senegalese fans who have been outside the Senegalese uh, hotel, Egyptian fans who are coming in the thousands from charter flights from Cairo and who are expected to go straight from the airport to the stadium, but thousands of Pharaoh's fans expected there. So the atmosphere is cranking up slowly but surely. Uh, fans were advised to get to the stadium early because the roads will be blocked off with uh, President Paul Bia in attendance, Gian Infantino, Patrice Mazzeppe, the head of CAF, of course. So a lot of the movement now going towards the stadium, uh, giving the teams uh, the, the possibility to get there nice and calmly. And Simon, both of these teams have some powerhouse players, Mohamed Salah of Egypt and then Sadio Mane for Senegal. Would you say that there's a favourite going into this match? Well, what's curious and what's funny, Alison, is that both uh, men are, are teammates, aren't they? They both play for Liverpool. They're both uh, two of the stars of the Premier League, two of the stars of modern football. Uh, as we know it, Mohamed Salah, uh, perhaps the more high profile of the two, whereas Sergio Mane has certainly been uh, more influential for his country. Now, what's for sure is that Senegal and Mane are the favourites going into uh, this final, but there is a lot of expectation on their shoulders. There is a lot of pressure on their shoulders. Is are the Lions of Taranga going to crumble, buckle under this pressure of, as you mentioned, winning their first ever Africa Cup of Nations and being considered as one of the greats on the continent, which you can't really do so at the moment, according to the statistics, of course. Or is Salah going to be able to lead this very regimented, very disciplined, compact uh, Egypt side uh, to a record-extending eighth uh, title in uh, AFCON tournaments? It is one of the big questions. It's very difficult to predict because no one expected Egypt at this stage of the competition and yet they are here. They come with plenty of experience, plenty of know-how and of course Senegal and their head coach Aliou Cisse have failed twice in the finals and so that burden of perhaps winning it for the first time might be too much. We'll have to wait and see uh, for uh, the match of course and the lineups which will be announced at seven o'clock. All right, Simon Harding, our sports editor, thank you very much for that update from Yaounde. You will, of course, be following the AFCON final as it gets underway in just a few hours' time now.